Welcome back to the LEC as Xiao Ken Outfield defeats Australis and keeps their playoff streams alive. Abadage, how does it feel to end the seven games losing streak and to make it back to the playoffs race? Hey, um, it feels pretty bittersweet because oh, we, we were kind of in a similar position last year when we, mm. um, we were like kind of getting out of playoffs race and then we finally got a win again and started getting our momentum for uh, bringing it back and still having a chance to compete. So it feels really good. Yeah, so we did see that momentum from Schalke today. And in today's ready check, I believe it was Ender who was saying that in order to Schalke to repeat their miracle run from last year, Fake Kadage needs to come online. And that's what we saw today because your Azir was destructive in team fights and you even won the player of the game. So what do you think about your own Azir performance? Um, I mean, it was the perfect game for me to play as here because we had a lot of frontline and like only one real engage, like the Alistair Ori combo. So I felt really comfortable the whole game. The only dangerous thing was to control myself of not going in too much. I did that mistake like one time that game where I went in when they had all flashes up and then I just died and it was kind of bad. But whenever I control myself, just play calm, hits the Olaf in front of me. They basically only watched me like destroying their front line and it was pretty fun to just clean up. Yeah, of course. And I almost found it symbolic that you were back in Azir, your signature champion that also played a crucial part in Schalke's playoffs run at last summer. So can you tell me more about your preference and confidence in Azir in general and maybe how important is it to perhaps play your comfort champion in a clutch match like this one? I mean, it's, I don't know, it's basically like bread and butter mid lane champ and I personally think I'm, I'm pretty good at like playing ADCs and Azir is kind of like the ADC of mid laners, like you, you hit and run, you kite and dodge skill shots and I think I'm pretty good at that and then I really like just having the option to also go in for the big plays with the shuffle and the ult. Um, it's, it's just always, I don't know, I'm just really good. so. Azir, if you have a lot of skill, then that helps a lot on the champ. Um, but I think uh, it just shows the most when you're skilled on Azir, I guess. Okay, you, we hear it from Abadage. Be skilled, be good at Azir. Um, Abadage, I actually, actually had a combo with Dylan Falco recently who gave us some insight on the recent state of Schalke that the team atmosphere has actually been quite good even during the losing streak and the team has been making some steady improvements but what can you tell me from first person perspective on the improvements and issue noticing that Schalke has been doing in the last few weeks? Mm, I think when we started losing it was well, like it was just kind of hard. I think our team coordination was off and then we had bad momentum, like we kept losing games, even though I always felt like these games were in our hands. And now we have to focus a lot on just getting the team together, because I think we were too, um, we were not, we, like we were good friends outside of the game, but in the game, like we are a bit selfish or bad at working with together. And I think that's been a big focus and uh, just trying to play more easier comes to uh, get back to winning was uh, our key to the past weeks. My final question, as you mentioned at the beginning of the interview, it's all about the momentum. And right now, so many teams are vying for that sixth, fifth place in the playoffs. And, you know, Misfits, Vitality, XL. And you know what happened last summer? Schalke managed to claim it. So what is the one thing that Schalke needs to remember? Remember from last summer split that will enable them to make it into the playoffs? We need to remember that the other teams are trash and if you play decent we will get there but if we if you just play decent we're not going to be one of the real top teams so we need to play really good so uh, for me it's not my goal to just go to playoffs like i, I want to compete in playoffs and if you don't even get there then that would be very sad but i think it's very doable Okay, and best of luck for the rest of the LEC as well as the Super Week next week. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the